Seven days you shall eat unleavened bread. On the first day you shall remove leaven from your houses. For whoever eats leavened bread from the first day until the seventh day, that person shall be cut off from Israel. On the first day there shall be a holy convocation, and on the seventh day there shall be a holy convocation for you. No manner of work shall be done on them, but that which everyone must eat. That only may be prepared by you. So you shall observe the Feast of Unleavened Bread. For on this same day I will have brought your armies out of the land of Egypt. Therefore you shall observe this day throughout your generations as an everlasting ordinance. In the first month, on the fourteenth day of the month at evening, you shall eat unleavened bread until the twenty-first day of the month at evening. For seven days no leaven shall be found in your houses. Since whoever eats what is leavened, that same person shall be cut off from the congregation of Israel, whether he is a stranger or a native of the land. You shall eat nothing leavened, and all your dwellings you shall eat unleavened bread. Exodus 12, 15 through 20. So he humbled you, allowed you to hunger, and fed you with manna, which you did not know, nor did your fathers know, that he might make you know that man shall not live by bread alone. But man lives by every word that proceeds from the mouth of Yahweh. Deuteronomy 8.3 And Yeshua said to them, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall never hunger, and he who believes in me shall never thirst. John 6.35 <laughs>